Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on a review of Captain General Trahan Valores. And uh, he's a pretty cool looking dude. Um, he's uh, cool in the narrative as well actually. He's, uh, you know, you know in, every one, in every organization there is always someone in there who gets crap done. And that's actually uh, Trahan Valores. That's kind of his character in uh, the big story arc in the back of the uh, 40k universe there. Um, he's kind of in charge of, uh, you know, guarding Terra. And he's the one who made the ultimate call to have Gilman go back and go right to the throne of the Emperor. And they could have their conference. It re, uh, rejuvenated uh, Gilman's interest in fighting the wars for the Emperor. And now he understood why and how and how he was going to move forward. So kind of a cool character in the in the narrative for sure but really awesome seeing uh seeing him on the tabletop um looking at the box uh we can see here that there's uh some really cool new features out there nice color photo of him at the front uh and on the back we can see that he's got that uh kind of that grizzled war veteran uh face thing going on up here uh, i really am digging the lion pelt as well i can't wait to see how that looks and uh, even his axe looks like a big banner to the Empire. So um, really looking awesome. And uh, yeah, let's take a look inside. Okay, so pulling the contents right out of the box, uh, we've got the uh, instruction manual in here and we've got the sprues, uh, loads of detail on there to see in a second. But uh, let's take a look at the manual itself. Um, so they talk about uh, you know safety instructions and all that other stuff. Uh, essentially the stuff that's on the back, so nothing new that way uh, photograph wise. Um, the instructions are nice and simple and easy. Uh, and for a single model, it's, uh, you know, it's fairly complex actually in terms of uh, parts. But uh, yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good. Um, again, they've got the uh, kind of the blue from the parts before. They've got the yellow to show that kind of gold color to show where you apply your glue. Um, one of the features I've always loved, loved about the new GW kits, even where to glue it on the base so it sits properly. So uh, really cool there. And then of course we've got his uh, rules. We've got uh, all the different translation, English, French, Spanish, and, and uh, Deutsch. Um, but uh, so he's got a six inch move. Um, he's got a zillion wounds, holy cow, seven. That's really cool. I haven't actually seen the, uh, the, the, the rules yet. He's got the watcher's ax. Uh, so it's shooting, so it's like most of the other custodes, custodies weapons. Uh, 24 inch rapid fire, one, cool. Uh, strength five, minus one. So he's basically rocking out a heavy bolter uh, off of his gun. That's awesome. Uh, he's got a, his melee weapon. His misericordia. Uh, melee weapon, uh, minus two AP, nice. Each time the bear fights, it can make one additional attack with this weapon unless it's also equipped with a storm shield. Uh, and he's got his, uh, his watcher's axe as well, which is, uh, basically a power fist that, uh, that strikes in, uh, pretty quick. Minus three, uh, D3 damage. Pretty cool. Aegis of the Emperor, uh, he's got a three plus invuln. Oh man, tough to take down, which is great. Uh, moment shackle. Once per battle of Trahan, Valora is on the battlefield. You can do one of the following. Regain D3 wounds. At the end of the fight phase, pile an attack with your hand an additional time, or regain up to D3 command points spent when you use a stratagem, but no more than were spent on the stratagem. Oh, that's awesome. So basically a fairly risk-free stratagem. Very cool. Power 10, I can see that uh, easily. But uh, yeah, neat. Really cool model. And again, uh, heavy in the fluff department too. Pretty sweet. Okay, next up we've got the actual sprues themselves. This double layered uh, GW spruce system, of course, to make sure everything's nice and locked in. Uh, 40 mil base for this guy, which is cool. Toss that off to the side. And uh, let's take a look at the sprues. So uh, we can see we've got the, the pelt here, which is awesome. We've got that beautiful axe with that kind of leaning forward kind of falcon look to it. Uh, a little bit different than, uh, you know, the eagles everywhere. Very nice. Lots of detail. You can see the uh, the armor plates here. No, really cool. And just this nice nature of everything kind of flowing off, which is great. You know, a little bit of a rock kind of rubbly piece to stand on as he's defending Earth. Yeah, really nice. Uh, and over here, we've got the actual... Uh, armor itself. We've got this really cool kind of scale armor coming down. Uh, very nice. Massive lion's head here. 
beautiful. It's got the pointing as he's showing the leadership there. Really neat. And in and, and here, uh, the standard back of a Custodes and then this beautiful, uh, beautiful cape kind of at the back. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually embossed with the Imperial Eagle, which is which is nice to see. A lot easier to, than painting that freehand. So we'll do something really cool and creative with that, I think, painting-wise. So um, next up, let's get them all assembled, and then we'll... Uh, We'll go from there. Okay, so I just wanted to hit uh, pause on the construction of the sky for just a half second. I wanted to show off something kind of interesting. Now, as I've been going along, uh, they fit together really, 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 really well. Um, even the uh, pointing finger here is actually a hold my uh, robe uh, hand motion. So look at that. He's Look at the deftness with which he holds that rope. Uh, but what I did want to show off was a couple of the seam lines. Now, I use a uh, plastic weld glue. So I kind of went in here and just made sure that it works. So make sure that you pre-fit, um, you dry fit before you do anything, these extra pieces. Uh, there's another piece across here and all that. So take your time as you're going through and dry fit. Uh, perfect example, the lion pelt here. In the instructions for the lion pelt, there we are, uh, it shows the, the fit kind of across uh, the shoulder here. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll make that uh, work. And what I ended up doing was this so i went in here and i tried to make it fit tried to make it fit and i thought no that's not fitting right you can see that there's some uh kind of uh indenting in there so then i took the line pelt here and i just went in and started checking out to see how it would fit and i went like this i went like this i was looking at it and i just kind of started just very gently wiggling it around and it locked into place so I don't know if I would have necessarily found that right off the hop, but I just kind of wiggled it uh, very gently and just moved it around lots and eventually it locked into place and it's like solid once it's locked in there. So just wanted to make a quick note of that, that just have confidence that it fits. And one of the things that I really like is this seam, which I was not a fan of, uh, gets covered up really, really well by that pelt. Really smart design, really liking it. All right, back to putting them together. All right, so after a little bit of work, he is finished up and ready to go. Um, first note of caution, take your time. This guy is made up of a bunch of really specifically fitting parts. Um, it was not difficult to put them together, but uh, it uh, definitely makes sure you take your time, make sure you dry fit. And on this guy, I think it, it matters a little more to just take that little bit of caution. The other nice thing was the instructions, um, they kind of took one piece at a time because I think they knew that it was a fairly complex process. So uh, yeah, just take it super chilled, uh, just work your way through and all that. The pieces on here that uh, I really thought was kind of cool is this little brooch to tie everything together, uh, kind of hangs out, uh, you know, gives a little bit of extra detail. So we'll have that gold reaching out onto the, the red or blue or whatever color you use. Um, I like the plumes of feathers, uh, goes back to very much a royal guard type thing, very neat. Um, again, that scaly armor, um, adding lots of kind of visual breakup to the to the robe itself. Very, very cool. Uh, his big axe bolter thingamadoo of doom is pretty solid. Um, I love this detail of this, this eagle um, kind of going in. Uh, really, really sweet. But I think my favorite detail of the whole model here, and the thing that'll really make it stand out, is this uh, lion pelt going over top. I think that's going to be awesome to paint and just add just loads of character to the to the model. I also like uh, the face here. It's this kind of grisly, you know, stern uh, war veteran. Uh, you know, just seen it all and done everything. I'm really digging the the, the facial features on. Uh, on, on, on our Trahan here. So, um, other than that, he's uh, the same as the other Custodes armor. Um, very, very similar. Uh, the, the, the wings folded over on the, on the eagle in the center is pretty sweet. And, um, yeah, this one hand just kind of like holding the robe back just so that people can kind of behold his, you know, his, all his glory as he's sitting out on the battlefield. Um, really, really, really digging it. Um, again, the Imperial Aquila symbol on the back, instead of having to paint that on and have it just be like a field uh, of color, uh, there's going to be some uh, really nice, uh, you know, ability to shade this and black line it and all of that. So as far as being a Custodes, he's still very loyal or uh, the, the sculpt is very loyal to the, 
uh, you know, to the to the initial models, which is great. And uh, I think he's got loads of his own personality as well. Uh, the big winner, yeah, is that line pelt. Very, very good. Um, but uh, the model went together very, very well. Take your time, relax, chill out, and uh, put it together and enjoy it. So um, really digging it. Uh, big thumbs up for me. And um, yeah, like that. That is our uh, review of the Captain General Trahan Valoris. And uh, yeah, I want to say thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this video was of value. I uh, hope it was nice to get a little bit of a peek as to what the model looks like or maybe some advice on how to put them together. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't already, that subscribe button is just a click away and you get notifications of all of our future videos. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.